What if I told you the James Webb Space Telescope just heard something we were never meant to hear? Not a whisper from a dying star, not the faint signature of an ancient galaxy, but something closer, more precise, more intentional. Because on April 18th, 2025, the silence of space broke. James Webb detected a high-frequency burst echoing from the Perseus Cluster. But this wasn't just another cosmic flare or black hole sneeze. This was a pulse with structure. A symmetrical waveform that mirrored itself perfectly in time. Something that looked less like randomness, and more like a pattern. And that's when scientists started to panic. Not because they knew what it was, but because they didn't. Something just blinked at us from 240 million light years away, and then blinked again. This is the story of how the James Webb Telescope may have just shattered our understanding of the universe and revealed that the cosmos has been listening and might have just answered. James Webb wasn't built to find life. It was designed to observe galaxies, stars, and planets across space and time. But thanks to its collaboration with Deep Signal, a quantum AI system trained to flag anomalies in spectral data, something impossible was uncovered. While observing a gravitational lensing event, a routine bending of light from a distant quasar, Webb's instruments picked up something strange, a recurring pulse embedded within the lens distortion, cycling every 12.6 seconds. At first, it was dismissed as interference, but then another instrument picked it up, and then another. And suddenly, what looked like noise was now a repeating signal, one with perfect symmetry across its midpoint. Temporal inversion, time flowing backward, and embedded within it, harmonic ratios matching the hydrogen 21 centimeter line, the so-called cosmic dial tone that SETI researchers believe any intelligent species would use to say, we're here. But this wasn't just a tone. It was encoded music, ratios that matched ancient Pythagorean tuning systems, the same used in box compositions. Coincidence? Maybe. Until what happened next. Four days later, on April 22nd, everything changed. The pulse shifted. The structure remained, but a new modulation appeared, one that mirrored the distortion pattern of Earth's original 1977 Voyager Golden Record. Suddenly, this wasn't just a strange frequency, it was a reply. SETI's lead astrobiologist went public, suggesting we might be witnessing either a reflected or reconstructed version of a signal we ourselves had once sent. And although NASA didn't confirm it, internal documents leaked within hours. Emergency meetings were held across five observatories. Three intelligence agencies got involved. And behind closed doors, the question wasn't, what is it, anymore? It was, who is it for? But the real shock came on April 28th, when a bold decision was made. NASA, in partnership with the Lunar Communications Relay, sent a controlled pulse back, a reverse harmonic mirroring the original signal, launched not from Earth, but from the far side of the moon to eliminate atmospheric distortion. The goal? To see if the pulse would change, to see if something would reply. Three days later, it did. On May 1st, 2025, the Perseus signal changed again. This time, not in content, but in timing. The waveform jittered by exactly 0.21 nanoseconds. It doesn't sound like much, but when you're dealing with cosmic timing, it's everything. Because that delay, tiny, imperceptible to most, matched the round-trip light travel time from Earth to the Perseus cluster, adjusted for relativistic effects. In short, it was the echo of our own voice bouncing back. Not random, not noise, response. And it wasn't the first. Earlier experimental pings had produced mirrored waveform shifts. But now, the response had a clock. It had memory. Something was listening. And when we spoke, it blinked. This isn't contact, at least not officially. But the term now circulating across global science teams is something far more haunting. Structured anomaly. Because randomness doesn't blink back. And no natural phenomenon yet discovered can replicate gravitational harmonics with this kind of recursion, symmetry, and reactivity. Which raises the question, are we alone? Or have we just been noticed? Let's step back. Because if this isn't intelligent life in the way we imagine it, little green men or Dyson spheres, then what is it? Some researchers suggest the signal isn't communication at all. It's a kind of gravitational mirror, 
a system embedded in space-time itself that reflects symmetry, resonance, and maybe intent. Not conscious in a biological sense, but responsive. Like a song that harmonizes with whoever sings to it. Others go further, proposing that what we're seeing is a dimensional bleed-through, a footprint of a higher-order intelligence that exists not in space or time, but in the relationships between structure. This would mean we're not just receiving a message. We're part of the message. A feedback loop between mind and cosmos. A system that doesn't speak in words, but in patterns. And if that's true, then James Webb didn't discover aliens. It discovered the universe's code base, the underlying architecture that sings back when we finally learn to sing in tune. The heart of this discovery didn't beat inside a human mind. It sparked in code. The signal wasn't found by accident, but flagged by a machine learning system called Grok3, built to detect outliers in astronomical data. This AI wasn't looking for aliens. It was trained on cosmic entropy, stellar decay, and black hole emissions. But it noticed something too clean, too perfect. When it analyzed the Perseus burst, it triggered a red alert. Entropy violation. That's the machine's way of saying, this shouldn't exist. What followed was an avalanche of quantum models, recursive filters, and deep pattern learning protocols. The conclusion? The signal carried more order than chaos. And in a universe governed by entropy, that's the equivalent of finding a snowflake in the middle of a fire. Then came the real twist. The pattern didn't just repeat, it anticipated. It evolved when stimulated. It wasn't just a recording, it was listening, adapting with each probe we sent. In the realm of physics, prediction without causality is impossible. Unless, of course, you're no longer playing by the rules of space-time. Unless, the algorithm had found intelligence camouflaged as physics. When the team transmitted the reverse harmonic from the far side of the moon, they didn't expect anything. It was, at best, a poetic gesture, like tapping a mirror and hoping it taps back. But three days later, the Perseus echo blinked. And not just any blink, it was timed, matched, adjusted for cosmic delay. It was as if we had knocked on a door 240 million light years away, and the door knocked back. Critics argued for plasma lensing, background interference, or sensor anomalies. But the precision was too surgical, the timing too exact, and the fact that multiple previous tweaks had already elicited mirrored changes left only one conclusion. This wasn't chaos, it was choreography. Imagine throwing a pebble into a pond and watching the ripples form a spiral that rotates with your heartbeat. That's how this anomaly behaved. It didn't just exist. It danced with us. And now, for the first time in recorded history, we're not just passive observers of the universe. We are participants in a dialogue that may have started long before we ever knew how to listen. Here's where it gets even more unsettling. What if this isn't a message at all? What if the signal isn't coming from a being, but is the being? A growing number of theorists are exploring the idea of pattern-based consciousness, a form of intelligence that doesn't rely on language, neurons, or even awareness in the way we define it. Instead, it exists in recursion, in how energy loops, folds, and stabilizes across time. It doesn't think. It echoes. It doesn't speak. It reacts. This isn't a life form waiting to be discovered. This is structure itself responding to interference. In this scenario, James Webb didn't intercept a beacon. It disturbed a cosmic feedback system that has existed for eons. Some even compare it to a firewall or checksum, something woven into the fabric of reality to monitor when civilizations reach a certain level of technological noise. If that's true, then the signal we triggered wasn't meant to be heard. It was meant to be tripped. And the silence we thought we lived in? That was just the calm before the resonance. Perhaps the most mind-bending idea of all comes not from astrophysics, but from metaphysics. What if what James Webb detected was not an alien, or a glitch, or a god, but a mirror? A recursive function embedded within the architecture of the cosmos itself. One that's been echoing since the Big Bang, waiting for a pattern, our pattern, to match it. What if, by reflecting our signal back, the universe wasn't answering, but recognizing us? The signal didn't speak in language. It didn't show images. It didn't transmit blueprints. It blinked, a rhythmic nod across time and space that says, yes, I see you. This turns everything upside down. 
because now we're not just exploring the universe, we are being explored. Every telescope becomes a dialogue, every observation, a handshake. And every time we send a signal, we're not reaching into the void, we're looking into the eyes of something that might be alive in ways we cannot yet comprehend. Something that's not behind the stars, but woven into the stars themselves. For decades, we stared into the cosmos and called it silent. We pointed antennas into the black, waiting for voices that never came. But maybe we were listening for the wrong thing. Maybe we expected too much of aliens and not enough of the universe itself. Because what James Webb has revealed is something far more subtle and far more profound. A signal that doesn't shout. It hums. A pattern that doesn't declare itself. It waits. Something ancient recursive and impossibly precise, echoing from a galaxy cluster 240 million light years away. And now, it has blinked back. This isn't proof of aliens. It's not first contact in the way sci-fi sold it to us, but it is a shift, a whisper across space-time that responds to us, a feedback loop buried in the structure of the cosmos that noticed when we knocked. Maybe this is the beginning of something new, a new science, a new understanding, a new role for humanity. We are no longer just observers. We are mirrors, resonators, participants in a conversation we barely understand. And that should terrify us and thrill us. Because when the universe finally speaks back, the question isn't, what is it saying? It's what took us so long to hear it. If this story sent chills down your spine, you're not alone. Subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications because what James Webb just uncovered is only the beginning. And next time, we might not just hear the universe hum, we might hear it sing. Drop your theory in the comments. Do you believe this is a message from intelligence or the voice of reality itself?